Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be a reading for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I am focusing on energies in and around the Gemini Collective for the month of September. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. This reading could resonate at any point in time throughout the month or it may not resonate at all. I could be speaking directly to a Gemini or to a cross watcher. So take the energies and the reading how it resonates. And if this reading's not for you, I do suggest to um, check your other signs and placements. Okay guys, so if you haven't yet, feel free to hit that subscribe button to join the channel. And let's jump right in and see what kind of a message needs to come through for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September. What energies are in and around Gemini? All right, what do we got for Gemini? So the Gates of Triumph flipped out in reverse, and I am going to leave that in reverse. So I feel like this resistance to expansion, which is really blocked a lot of successes um, for you Gemini is what's coming through. We do have the watching clouds energy and the wondrous universe and this is manifesting energy to me so I do feel you kind of have been in that daydreamy state of trying to bring a manifestation to fruition but there's this blockage when it comes to expanding and having this success so i do believe the energy is kind of pushing you to take that action um we do have a role to play in manifesting and that is taking that action with passion so the energy i feel in september really is pushing you gemini to to have that courage to take that action towards what it is you kind of have been daydreaming about trying to bring into your into your life and then the last energy out we have first light so i do believe um you're just beginning to see the light of of a brand new cycle beginning so it does feel like you're closing out something major and um it's almost like this final layer of closing out the past cycle really is kind of preventing you from the success that you have been striving towards. So let's see. On the bottom of the deck, we do have taking shelter. So that is Virgo energy. And the answers that you have been seeking really do lie within. And I feel September is going to be a big month for you, Gemini, to kind of go within, to find those answers, to figure out where you have been lacking success when it comes to this expansion that you're trying to bring in to this new cycle entering your life. So definitely take some time to go within and detach from any outside energies, Gemini. I do feel that will allow you to um, really see the light that's trying to come through. So let's see what kind of archetype energies are supporting this for Gemini. Um, what is the supporting archetype energy that Gemini is dealing with this month? Oh. Any other messages? Yeah, okay, okay. Any other messages for Gemini, please? Supporting energies? Okay. Gemini. We had um, the Samaritan came out and reversed. We have uh, the father energy. So perhaps you are closing out a cycle in regards to some childhood wounding related to your father. We do have the divine child, um, the poet energy, as well as the mediator. So I feel this over-reliance on uh, mechanical solutions, and I feel um, there's been a disregard for emotional consequences, which is creating a blockage for you, Gemini. And I feel you're really needing to um, come up with a, a really solid solution to work through um, this blockage. With the queen energy, Gemini, I do feel there is this arrogance about you, whether this is your energy or somebody you're connected to. And I feel this arrogant energy really gets triggered when somebody um, challenges um, your personal authority. So I do feel a very controlling and demanding energy and it really is time to access that benevolent authority from within. Um, and I feel this desire to kind of be that protector for others, 
but there's this um, demanding and controlling en energy that really prevents you from stepping into that higher vibration. With the Samaritan energy, I feel um, it really is time for you to have a deeper appreciation for everything that you have in your life, to be able to refine um, your capacity to help others. And I feel there's something below the surface that you have been ignoring that is really needing to be dealt with in regards to perhaps a father figure. And I feel maybe this father figure um, abused his authority, Gemini, or something along those lines, which really has um, created um, a block within your creative um, aspects. And I feel the energy really is pushing you and guiding you towards building your own tribal unit in your life to kind of release that energy and offer a level of forgiveness. With the divine child and the poet energy, I feel this um, victim mentality. Um, where have you been enabled to defend yourself against these negative forces? Because I feel a deep level of purification in the month of September, Gemini. It suggests like a period of possibly redemption. And I feel like a deeper um, restoration with your connection to God source or your connection with the divine, with the poet energy. I feel you really are encouraged to release any negative destructive um, behaviors or any negative destructive people in your life so you can really fully step into these gates of triumph to be able to fully express your soul, all of the insights that you hold within. And I feel with the mediator energy, um, there might be a need for a third party to help you negotiate something here um, that really has held you back. I feel be prepared for somebody in and around you to be exposed when it comes to ulterior motives or a hidden agenda, um, either personally or professionally. And I really think, um, although most Geminis have a lot of respect for both sides of an argument, you're really needing to stand in that fairness, to stand in that boundary of not allowing somebody to kind of step over those boundaries. Bottom of the deck, we do have the hedonist energy, Gemini. So um, I feel be prepared to release any indulgences, especially um, when it comes at the expense of others. And I do feel um, there is a lot of creative energy when you take that time to go within. And I feel good things are really trying to come into your life because... The gates of triumph are almost right there. There's just a need for you to release, to be able to walk through that doorway. Don't be afraid to take action towards what it is that you truly desire, um, Gemini. Don't be afraid to take action to release any, um, any ulterior motive people surrounding your life. I think you might have quite a few people that are needing to be released. And um, maybe there's some resistance to that, uh, Gemini. So... Let's jump in with the tarot and we'll see what other messages come through. When I picked up the deck, the justice kind of flipped um, out of my hand. So uh, that's Libra energy. I do feel the scales of justice are going to ensue this month, Gemini. So whatever um, is needing to be balanced will be balanced out. I do believe, yeah, Ace of Pentacles now when I cut the deck. And I do believe a brand new beginning is here um, once these blockages get released. I feel a lot of expansion. So what is the current energy surrounding Gemini when it comes to the month of September? What does Gemini need to know? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. All right. Okay, we got a couple major arcana here. We do have the Hierophant uh, Gemini. The wheel flipped out as well, and then we also have the five of wands. So I am feeling like um, a lot of combative energy when it comes to possibly a marriage or a long-time commitment, a long-standing commitment. I do feel um, the energy really is saying it's time to close out this negative repetitive cycle. Absolutely, three of swords. I feel if you have been avoiding closing out uh, a long-standing commitment to avoid feeling that deep heartbreak, I feel um, the universe really is saying um, it's time to move forward. It's really time to release anything that has prevented you from really expanding along your journey. And I also feel with this Five of Wands, it's, it's like been a very painful internal struggle 
to accept that, you know, this is a this is a painful ending. And I feel you are being called to kind of step into a higher commitment um, along your spiritual journey. And I feel a lot of divine guidance, a lot of divine orchestration. The Hierophant is the highest authority of all. God, um, the universe, sees all, hears all. Nothing can be hidden from the universe. So I do feel there is a need to accept an ending, um, to accept um, feeling the pain of this ending if you have been kind of avoiding that. And I do feel as this gets released and cleared, any confusion gets cleared, um, a, a lot of the luck in your life is really going to um, turn in your favor to bring in this triumphant success that's trying to come in. So let's see what other messages need to come through. Higher self messages, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, Four of Swords reversed with the Tower reversed. I do feel... Be prepared for um, a shocking turn of events. I feel this tower may have been avoided up until now, um, but it can no longer be avoided. And I feel um, the time is now to go through a deep level of healing that you maybe have um, avoided for quite some time. The Four of Swords reversed. I feel like you have been very stuck. You have been very stagnant. Um, You've been in this energy of being depleted and tired and wanting things to close out. And I feel like now things are getting worse. And I feel the universe is stepping in, bringing in this towering moment um, very quickly in order to get this cycle to close. When we get the wheel, it's a 10. It's the end of a cycle. It's time to go in a new direction, Gemini. And um, this, I feel, with the tower reverse too, I, oft, I often feel this is like a huge internal shift when it comes to your personal views. Um, so I do feel a need for you to kind of go within, protect your energy with the Four of Swords reversed. Allow yourself to process all of your emotions in its entirety to be able to close this out, to step into that regal energy that's trying to come through. And I do feel you are going to be divinely protected when it comes to this energy. Yeah, okay, we got three of cups, <laughs> the 10 of pentacles and temperance. So I feel a couple of threes here. I am feeling third party energy. It doesn't have to be another person, but there's there's been this third party energy that really has prevented a deep connection here within this commitment. And I do feel with tens, you know, tens to me, um, or endings, I think maybe you're holding on to this false sense of security in this connection. And I do feel the time is now to, to bring some balance back in your life. I think you've been very unbalanced. There's that hermit energy again. Six of cups, nine of wands. I think there's a lot of childhood patterning coming up to be dealt with in the month of September, Gemini. I feel this deep pull for you to go within to find your inner light. I think you've kind of lost the spark for life again, Gemini. And with the Six of Cups and Nine of Wands, I feel it's time to close out this cycle of third-party energy, lack of reciprocation, and I feel it's really time to learn the lessons. So I do feel a lot of um, looking back on the past when it comes to your childhood um, when it comes to learning these lessons, I feel what truly is going to bring you happiness, satisfaction, and loyalty. And I feel it really is time for you to go deep within that um, that inner wound, that Chiron, that Chiron wound, to turn that into your most valuable treasure. Because I do feel as you walk into this new cycle, the lessons you are learning this month in September really are going to ignite this expansion for all of this success that is coming into your life, Gemini. What is the underlying energy that Gemini needs to be aware of? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, there is victory here. Victory after sorrow. So stop playing into any argumentative energy because there is a brand new abundant beginning. I think you really are encouraged to plant your seeds somewhere else, Gemini, the Seven of Pentacles. There's no more growth there. I think as hard as you put the effort in, as many times as you try, uh, it just gets you back to this Ten of Swords, this Ten of Wands. And there's lies here. There's deception here, possibly even self-deception. 
I think it's time to look at, at the truth here. We've got 10, 10, 10, and then 10. So there's four 10s here. This is a major, major cycle closing out. And I do feel um, the time is now to plant those seeds somewhere else. I feel it's time to get honest with yourself. Seven truly is a, a mystical number, a, a heavenly number. So I do feel the universe is really trying to show you um, who has been having this hidden agenda behind your back, where these ulterior motives are coming from. And I think with the two sevens, I feel um, you are being divinely guided to accept this ending. I feel you have thought long and hard about this, and I feel this has weighed very heavy on your on your chest, um, and you really struggled internally to allow this ending to come full circle, but the time is now to bring balance back into your life, to allow justice to ensue, and to trust that everything that is just and right will will be balanced out. The truth always has a funny way of coming full circle, Gemini. And I feel it's time to bring fairness back into your life. It's time to demand equality. I don't feel a lot of um, equal give and take within this connection. And, you know, the burden can't, can't be carried any further. It really is time to allow yourself to process this ending in its entirety. So... What is the potential overall outcome for Gemini for the month of September, please? What does Gemini need to know about these energies? Page of Wands was the only card that wanted to come out. So get in that beginner's mindset again, Gemini. I feel a new creative spark. There's another seven. Seven of Cups. Oh, my God. The Lovers and the Five of Pentacles. Another ten. We got all of the tens on the board. So... I think it's time to get really deep in in the shadow aspects and really get honest uh i think you are feeling kind of left out in the cold um i feel you feel alone in a committed partnership and it's really time to kind of embrace that accept that and release this because i do feel um uh with the lovers there is going to be another option here gemini i think it's time for you to um embrace this new beginning let this new cycle begin with that beginner's mindset. I feel a lot of new creative energy um, as you pursue this triumphant success. And with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups, I do feel this brand new beginning is going to come out of nowhere. I think it's going to come in fast. That's the fastest night in the deck. I also feel you're encouraged to get out of Dodge and uh, do this as quickly as possible. I think you've got many, many options coming and you're really needing to release um, this victim mentality, this scarcity mindset. Take that key, put it in the door, and walk through a new doorway, Gemini, I feel is, is what you need to do. I think there's a lot of regret, remorse, and guilt coming up in regards to closing out this cycle. But we always have to choose what's best and what's true for us. So don't be afraid to speak your truth, Gemini. Because there's a lot of deception around you and it's time to bring a level of balance back into your life. So let's see what kind of shadow aspects are going to be coming up for integration and transmutation for Gemini, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, Gemini. Ebb and flow. Disapproval. Trust. We have deceit. Another clarification that you have a lot of people surrounding you that are being deceitful. And don't deceive yourself either, Gemini, because you are worthy. We have disappointed, vanity, ooh, alienation, which is another solitary energy and change. So be prepared for something major to rock you to the core. A false foundation is crumbling, and you need to appreciate the beauty in the breakdown of this false foundation because nobody can make you feel anything that you don't already feel inside. So go deep within where this lacking energy is coming from and restore your faith in yourself again. I feel you've allowed somebody um, that has been very deceitful and vain into your mindset and you're needing to remember just how beautiful you are inside and out, Gemini. So don't deceive yourself. You truly are worthy of more than this, okay? I think it's really hard sometimes to sit with that level of disappointment upset, grieving, and I think the time is now to process this grief um, so you can embrace um, 
this new beginning, this brand new cycle, Gemini. Um, what goes up must come down. So be kind to yourself as this falling um, apart or this crumbling of a foundation takes place. Uh, because your manifestations are really trying to come to fruition, Gemini. And you're needing to stay focused on the goal at hand. You're needing to take action in a new direction and to really trust in your intuition because your higher self really is pushing you towards success. So release any resistance. Um, don't allow yourself to go deep into the seed of shame um, because I feel although this is a disappointing um, ending, I think it's time for you to plant those seeds elsewhere and there's going to be huge potential for growth when you choose a new, a new direction because I feel you're really tapped into your infinite wisdom at this time. So stay in the present moment. Um, don't fall into too much past energy and don't think too far ahead. Uh, because there's a major shift taking place this month, month, Gemini, to get you to embrace the changes that the universe is trying to bring in, okay? That's what I got for Gemini. I hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, feel free to check out the information box below. There you will find my email contact, and I look forward to connecting with you all again next time. Thank you.